The Cabinet Committee on Security has flagged off the prototype development and testing stage of Bharat's indigenous fifth generation stealth fighter jet, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft (AMCA). Slated to be in production from 2035, it would make the IAF battle ready for the future. With air power being regarded as the sword arm of offensive operations, as well as crucial in defense, in all modern military doctrines, developing more sophisticated fighter jets has been a continuing objective for top military powers. The term fifth generation fighter aircraft or FGFA is currently used to denote the few most technologically advanced fighter jets, a super elite category that have been developed over the past 30 years. Such machines have multi-role capability, advanced avionics and networked data fusion, enabling greater situation awareness on the battlefield. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. In this video, we bring you what all proud Indians have been dreaming about, Bharat's indigenous fifth generation fighter jet. Before we proceed, we request you to subscribe this channel and share and like this video. But the one quality that sets a fifth generation jet apart from other modern fighters is its stealth capability. The quality of being unseen and undetected by enemies, ground defense radars and aircraft. As can be imagined, making a FGFA is a complex task and only a few fighters inhibit the class. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II and F-22 Raptor, the Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon and the Sukhoi Su-57 Falcon. On 21st February 2024, Turkey conducted the maiden test flight of its indigenously developed fifth generation stealth fighter jet Khan. It is developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries and BAE Systems of the United Kingdom. Here in Bharat, aerospace engineers at the Aeronautical Development Agency complex in Vimanpura and Aeronautical Hub in Bengaluru have been quietly working on designing India's own fifth generation stealth jet, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, since 2009. Now, in a push that could propel Bharat into the exclusive club of nations that operate FGFAs, the Cabinet Committee on Security, the country's highest body on security matters, gave its nod to the next stage of the AMCA project on March 7th by sanctioning Rs 15,000 crore for its prototype development. The five twin-engine prototypes would be made by the ADA, which functions under the Defence Research and Development Organisation of the Ministry of Defence and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, with support from Indian private firms. The ADA has a 10-year roadmap for making the five prototypes and flight testing thereafter. The first prototype itself would take about four years to manufacture. If all goes according to plan, the AMCA will start being manufactured from 2035 onwards. Military aviation experts claim that Turkey started working on its stealth jet in 2010, a year after Bharat announced its own FGFA program. In 2015, Turkey announced that it would partner with BAE Systems to design the fighter. In contrast, India and Russia entered into an agreement to jointly develop a fifth generation jet in 2010, but New Delhi pulled out of it in 2018 after it was felt that the Russians were not willing to share much in terms of technology. The decision to go it alone led to a delay in Bharat's stealth development. The Indian Air Force plans to deploy around 120 MK stealth fighters, six squadrons starting from 2035. The first two MK squadrons will consist of the Mark I version and will be powered by the American GE Aerospace's F414 engines. The remaining four squadrons will have the more advanced Mark II version with a more powerful indigenous engine to be developed jointly with foreign collaboration. AMCA designers say that the jet will have a top speed of nearly 2600 km per hour or Mark 2.15 as well as combat range of 1620 km. The fighter will be equipped with a 23mm cannon and 14 hardpoints to carry weaponry weighing 6500 kg. The design is intended for multi-role missions and to tackle both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations with equal lethality. It also features serpentine air intakes extensive use of radar dampening materials, a conformal antenna embedded in the fuselage rather than sticking out from it as in non-stealth jets, and an internal weapons bay, all essential to provide a very low radar signature. 
A defense source says that the AMCA will carry Brahmos next generation air to ground missiles, Astra air to air missiles, anti tank missiles, Rudram air to ground anti radiation missiles, laser guided bombs, and precision munitions. All the technologies have been developed indigenously with many trials and errors. It has been a truly national effort. Jai Hind!